So here we have the Toyota Yaris Hybrid Automatic on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of it from there. So as we approach the boot, you'll see that we've got plenty of space in there, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase that space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. Now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the right-hand side, we have the speedometer and fuel gauge. And on the left-hand side, we have the kind of charge uh, meter. There's a video actually on our website and on our YouTube channel that shows how uh, this works, how the, how the hybrid technology works. But you can see when your vehicle is charging, when you're using the eco mode and the power band for the car just there. In the center, you can see the total miles are 12,308. You can change information that's displayed above that by using buttons on the steering wheel. You can, for example, have that digital readout for the speedometer you see being displayed there, as well as lots of different bits of trip computer information. Uh, and to go through that uh, information, you just use these buttons here. Beneath that, we have cruise control. And on the left-hand side, we have stereo controls. Over in the center is the stereo itself. So there's a few buttons down each side, but essentially, otherwise, it is touchscreen. You can see that we have AM, FM, and DAB radio, as well as Bluetooth audio. And on the next screen, iPod input and USB input as well. This car's also got a full color reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction it's headed in, in relation to the image that you see on the screen. Working our way down from that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures, the fan speed up and down from here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed using this button here. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns the air conditioning on or off. It's on at the moment, so off, back on again. Or you can hit auto, and the car will now maintain those temperatures by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that at any time you wish to. Beneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, USB input and auxiliary input. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. And down here, we can turn off traction control. We can put the car in eco mode. This button will force it into its electric mode if the vehicle has enough charge. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.